The Hon. Sandra Carr. Thank you, President. Uh, I rise in, uh, to make a brief comment on a, a, an opening I had to attend recently, but I'll also, while I'm on my feet, express my support for the comments just made by the Hon. Peter Foster, and I thank you for that contribution. Earlier this month, I had the opportunity to attend the opening of the Women's Wellness Centre in Geraldton. It was on the 8th of March they officially launched the centre, and it was uh, it's, it's now officially up and running. It's a, a centre that's been provided by an organisation in the Midwest called Desert Blue Connect. If those who don't know, Desert Blue Connect is a community not-for-profit. It supports people experiencing family violence, um, uh, those who um, ha have experienced sexual assault, so it provides counselling and support for people who have, um, are dealing with that awful situation. They provide children's services such as counselling and support and advocacy services. They provide crisis accommodation for women and children who are experiencing family and domestic violence. They also provide rural support and programs out in the regions across the Midwest, places like Ming and New Moral and further abroad, further, further afield I should say. And they also provide a men's community intervention program and a caring dads program. Desert Blue Connect uh, uh, an organisation quite close to my heart. I've sat on the board of Desert Blue Connect for a few years now, and I was given the great privilege of speaking to the group that attended the opening and cutting the ribbon at the opening of the new Women's Wellness Centre uh, before they allowed all the invited guests to go in and tour this amazing new facility. The great thing about this particular facility is that it is developed to be a safe, inclusive and supportive environment for women and addressing a whole range of the needs for women in the Midwest community. It's providing medical services for women at um, bulk build, uh, sorry, at, at a bulk build, at bulk build rate, sorry, counselling services, pregnancy counselling and support, the LAMP program, which is looking after mums program, a mums group and a program that they have called Desert Rose, which is a First Nations women's resilience program. And I'll speak a little bit about more about that in a, in a moment. But I would just like to speak about the early um, seed of the idea about the Women's Wellness Program because it occurred from the staff on the ground in Desert Blue Connect. And as you can appreciate, this is a staff who are incredibly busy and deliver some highly important work, but also highly stressful work in our community. And in amongst all of the busyness of the work that they deliver and the important work they deliver for the people of the community, they had the seed of the idea of being able to provide a tailored, specific women's wellness service to the, for the Midwest community. And they took the idea to the leadership of Desert Blue Connect. They researched, they researched uh, facilities and buildings nearby where they could develop that facility and they kept advocating and making it easier and easier for um, Desert Blue Connect as an organisation and the board to say yes to this program. And the work that they have collectively done to establish this facility and open it and have it up and running to provide that service for the community is a great credit to everybody involved. Um, I really do thank the CEO of Desert Blue Connect, Russell Pratt, for listening so carefully to his staff, recognising the need for a service like this in the community and working collaborati collaboratively with the community, the board and all the various groups involved in helping to build and fit out and provide the service. I know it was a, a lot of work for Russell and the Desert Blue Connect leadership to find doctors. It's a regional service, so doctors are always hard to find and they put in many, many hours getting um, female GP and then um, a substitute female GP while the new GP had to go on leave. It was a lot of work for them, but they've really persevered to make sure that this service is available to the community because they recognise how very important it is. The tour of the facility was, um, was a really wonderful experience because you go inside and you can see the love that has gone into creating that facility. It's warm, it's welcoming, it provides safe spaces, and each of the staff are in their various um, rooms and um, spaces in the building. There's a space for children to play if the parents are um, in getting treatment or counselling. And every space is 
designed to feel warm, safe and welcoming. And I think that is a particularly important consideration and it shows the heart and soul of that particular organisation and the love that they put into making sure that they really care for some of the most vulnerable people in our community. I would like to speak just briefly to the Desert Rose um, First Nations Women's Resilience Program and just explain a little bit about what that's about. As a member of the board of Desert Blue Connect, I had the privilege of listening to the creator of that program speak about um, what the, the, the work that that program delivers and why uh, she had created it. So just to explain what Desert Rose is, it's a culturally safe life skills program specifically for First Nations women created by a First Nations woman. It's a four week program for women to participate in and it takes them on a bit of a journey over a few consecutive Wednesday and Thursday afternoons to help them really reconnect with culture and each other, regain their cultural identity, uh, create some inner healing and, a, and empowerment for those individuals that participate. It's an incredibly important program and one that is um, delivered by First Nations people, for First Nations people, but it's now been incorporated into the Women's Wellness Centre as well. And, um, I thought that I would mention it specifically today because they've got another one of those programs starting up on the 3rd of May and there's applications open now, so I will pop the link on um, my Facebook page for anyone who's interested. Lastly, I'd just like to mention Desert Blue Connect's uh, wave that they do every year. That's their Walk Against Violence event. Every year they gather members of the community, there's members of a variety of uh, Indigenous groups, there's the like, Geraldton Police attend, some of the school groups attend and a whole different range of people from the community and they listen to speeches about various people's services that are provided in terms of supporting people um, who have experienced family and domestic violence. And then the participants uh, walk along the foreshore and down the main street of Geraldton through the CBD. It's just a very quiet, peaceful walk through the community. and. The most recent one that I participated in um, was a really, we had this really beautiful moment where we we're walking along the foreshore and there was a lot of people out that day, a beautiful day, and groups just broke into spontaneous applause and that was a beautiful display of support for a lot of people who are in marches like that for reasons which I probably don't need to elaborate on, but it was really heartening to see that that message is seeping through and they felt the support and it is definitely a goosebump moment and I have them right now. But I'd really like to thank Desert Blue Connect for doing that kind of thing for the community, for the work that they do in gently creating awareness for their men's intervention programs they create to help people who are ready to acknowledge that they need help and support and the way that they've also embraced some technology to help community wrap around people who are vulnerable to uh, family and domestic violence and who can then use their community so support networks to intervene before the violence takes place. And they're doing some fantastic work in that space as well. So I just wanted to reiterate, I really do thank Desert Blue Connect for the amazing work they do. Thank you to Russell Pratt and his team, and I would love to name them all, but there's a lot of them doing some amazing work in there. But please know that um, the Midwest community is incredibly grateful for the work that you do.